Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Main, where I like to talk about getting online, building websites, and building a brand. So as you guys know, I am big about making sure your business has an online presence. And one of the first ways to do that is making sure your business has a website. Here's how to build a website in 10 minutes using WordPress, and it's only gonna cost you $4 a month. Now let me preface this by saying you are never gonna truly build a website in 10 minutes. I don't care if you're using Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, GoDaddy's website builder, I, I don't care what you use, you're not gonna build a website from start to finish in 10 minutes. This tutorial is gonna show you how to set up WordPress and how to get some basic pages created in 10 minutes, but it's going to take you longer since it's your first time ever building a website, and once you get things all set up, you're gonna to wanna to go back and tweak stuff or add more pages, add a contact form, stuff like that. But with that being said, here's how you build a WordPress website in roughly 10 minutes and get it started and get it online. So for web hosting, we are gonna be using Namecheap's Easy WordPress Hosting. It is only $4 a month or like $25 a year if you pay yearly, so it's very reasonable and it's super easy to use. I did make a video recently on the best WordPress web hosts that you can view over there. So if you're not sure if you wanna go with Namecheap, definitely watch that video first because there are some other decent options out there too. But I felt like Namecheap was the easiest and fastest option for this tutorial. So with that said, let's get straight into it right now. All right, so first you're gonna go to the Namecheap website and make sure you sign up for EZWP. So once you fill out your billing details, create your Namecheap account and all that, you'll be taken to this screen. Now the only caveat to Namecheap's web hosting is that you have to host your domain name with Namecheap for it to be linked with your website. So if you're using something like GoDaddy for your domain, you're gonna have to transfer that into Namecheap. Now, I personally would recommend doing this anyway because I don't like GoDaddy. Namecheap is my preferred domain provider. I made a video about that there. But just a disclaimer, you are gonna need to do that. So I'm actually gonna use this free, easy WP address for now because I don't have any domain names that are just sitting out there that I can use for this. So I'll just put Christian Taylor and then they assign me a free address. So you see your new WordPress website will be live at blah, blah, blah. Okay, show advanced options. Um, if you want to, you can mess with this, but you really can just click create WordPress website and that's it. It is really that simple. And once you get taken to this screen, you can go ahead and click WP Admin. That's gonna take you right to your login page where you can get started with your website and looks like we're actually already logged in, so that's cool. Now once you get here, you're going to click Visit Site and make sure that opens in a new tab. It's useful to keep tabs open while you're doing this. So this is the start of our WordPress website. This is kind of like the default theme that WordPress uses, but we want to get a better, nicer looking website than this. So we're going to go over to our panel and we're going to start by installing a theme with a drag and drop editor that's easy for us to work with. So what we're going to do is go over to appearance and click themes, and we're going to click add new up here. And we're gonna go to popular, because these are themes that a lot of people are using, themes with a good reputation. Now, I have already looked through these, and for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this Neve, or Neve theme, however you pronounce that, because I like the drag and drop editor it offers. A caveat to WordPress is that each theme has a slightly different way of you editing the pages. So it's almost like each theme in itself is its own mini website builder. So you wanna make sure you're using a good theme. And there's lots of paid ones out there and there's paid drag and drop plugins, but we're gonna keep this simple because this is that 10 minute tutorial. 
So we're sticking with this WordPress theme here. So once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and click activate. And once that activates, I'm going to click try one of our ready to use starter sites because this is gonna let us get started right away with the easy editing tools. So we're taken to this page and we're given a couple of different options. Now I've looked through these and I'm a fan of this option because I could go for setting up a nice freelancer site. So I'm just gonna click import on here, accept all the things it wants to import, all the plugins and just click import. So at this point, your website is being set up with the base template and then you can edit things with a drag and drop editor and go from there. All right, once that's all complete, we're gonna click view website. And this is just gonna show us what that did. So as you can see now, we have this base to work with. This theme has actually imported itself. It's given us this template to go from, including a nice contact form here, so we can get started right away, a nice one pager site. So I'm gonna click this button edit with Elementor, because that's our drag and drop editor that's going to allow us to edit this with ease. So just gonna click, got it. And here we are, I mean, we're ready to go to start editing this site. So hello, I am, I can change this to Christian Taylor. I can change the font if I want, under style, size, alignment, all sorts of stuff I can change. Um, so I'm gonna leave this text for now, and then I can even drag this button around if I want. I could position this button above here instead of below this line. I think I'm gonna keep it placed right here because I like that. Now all these blocks can be edited here, so like award winning, I could click this over here on the sidebar, I could change the icon to a toggle. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but um, toggles are fun. This is some text about a toggle. So you can see everything can be edited. Uh, we can also create a link. So maybe I want to link this to my YouTube channel. I just put a link here and then this text is going to go to my YouTube channel. So we can just really work with all of this here, modify this, modify these images. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Even this header section here, I can click this and see more information on the section. So hit edit section and be able to edit this image here, choose image. Now here's a tip for you. If you're looking for images, I would highly recommend the website unsplash.com. All the images here are totally free to use and royalty free. So you're not gonna run into any copyright concerns. You can just download the image and then once you download it, drag it into WordPress right here and get started with using it right away. And boom, the background on our site has been changed. So you can see building a website doesn't have to be hard. Once you make those changes, you just click this update button. And then if we go back to our website, which is hosted on this temporary domain name, boom, our website is up and running. We can click the link we created and it goes to the YouTube channel. Like we're ready to go our website's online for our business. Now, if you go back to Namecheap's panel, you can do a number of things like generate backups. I can go to this domain and change it to any domain in my Namecheap account. The management is really easy. Now, before we leave, I wanna talk about one thing that is extremely critical on any WordPress website, and that is security. Now, I'm going to warn you, WordPress has security issues. I see WordPress websites get hacked regularly. 
Now, I don't want you to get scared. I don't want you to panic. You don't need to be tech savvy to secure your WordPress website. There's a plugin called WordFence that's gonna do all the work for you, but just hear me out. It is worth your time to take the extra three minutes to install this plugin. Even if you never touch your WordPress website again and never modify it again, this is gonna make sure you're protected. So to do that, go on over to plugins in the main menu and click add new and just search in the search bar for WordFence. Once that's done, click install now. You'll see this installing thing. And once that's done, just click activate right here. And once WordFence is activated, you will be taken to this screen. You do want to go ahead and enter your email to make sure you get alerts. If anything were to happen with your site, WordFence will let you know. I'm just gonna say no, because I don't want to be added to their email list. Check this box, click continue. We don't need to upgrade a premium, no thanks. And that's it, you're good to go. WordFence is gonna take care of securing your site and making sure that it's protected from common hacks that people try to do with WordPress. So that's it, you have created your WordPress website. You can go in and modify it at any time. It only took us 10 minutes and it's only gonna cost you $4 a month to keep the site up and running. So if you like this video, do be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. We're gonna talk about a lot of different topics like how to get your website listed on Google and make sure it's ranking well and social media strategies. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and drop a comment down below of what you thought of this tutorial. Was it easy for you to make your WordPress website? Do you have any questions? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.